been? I was at the autumn meeting of farmers from our region. We meet every year to see each other, share our concerns and to speak about the future of farming. Whoa! I didn't even know such thing exists. Why are you going there? Well, there's always a lot of complaining, but also some good ideas and initiatives. But what I like the most is the pumpkin night. Pumpkin night? Is this the village way of partying? No, it's a sort of farmer's funny Olympic games. The winner gets the biggest pumpkin grown in the region that year. Guess who got it this year, huh? Frank, you're a hero! With this age? Well, Ferdo, I am not so old. But you are right. When I won the games, I got back a little bit of self-consciousness I've had when I was young. Consciousness? Is that some shepherd thing you all get when you do this pumpkin business? No, Ferdo. Consciousness means many things to many people, but in essence it is the ability to be aware of something. If you are conscious about pollution in the city, it means you know it exists and what negative influences it has. And what is self-consciousness then? According to John Locke, a 17th century philosopher, consciousness is basically self-consciousness. For example, everything that is known by human being about his own thoughts, feelings and acts. Locke also said that self-consciousness provides individual the ability to evaluate his or her acts. He thought of it as being the key factor of differentiation between human beings and animals. You mean, as an animal I'm not self-conscious? Well, generally animals are not considered to have consciousness, especially sheep. But you just might be the exception, since you are a black Aries. But seriously, Ferdo, are you aware of your thoughts, feelings and actions? Or are you also only thinking of grass? Yes. Well, at least most of the time. Then you have consciousness. Or should we say you are self-conscious? That's great. But, well, I usually still don't visit annual sheep meetings. You're right. Just consciousness or even self-consciousness isn't enough to participate in such meetings or even society in general. I would call such feeling a social consciousness. Ooh, ooh, I know what that is. It's the consciousness of the group, isn't it? Yes, Ferdo, very good. According to Polish guy Stanislaw Wasowski, social consciousness includes intellectual concepts, approaches, ideas, opinions and evaluations, which are common among participants of a certain group. Since people don't change their group so often, Social consciousness gets stronger and stronger when the group spends more time together. That's why I feel like an outcast. Since I'm black, I don't share the social consciousness of my herd. Exactly. Social consciousness is the basis or the glue of social cohesion. Cohesion means that people are connected. The more traits you share with the group, the more connected you feel and vice versa. The less you share, the more you feel separated or excluded from the group. I get it now. Being an Aries makes me part of the herd and I have some social consciousness because we have a lot in common. But because I'm a black Aries and we often don't have common vision and don't care for each other, our group is often not cohesive enough. That's it. You got it. It's the same as it was now with this pumpkin. If our society doesn't have enough of social cohesion, it falls apart. <laughs>